So good morning everyone. I hope you're enjoying the current nice turn of weather we're having, this intermediate weather, not too hot, not too cold. And so just taking a moment or two to sit in a comfortable position, but in whatever position it is that we meditate, then there are just some important little um, things to check and they just help our body to be comfortable. So having your back relatively yes. straight. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And if you're sitting in a chair, which is perfectly okay, there's no, there's a traditional meditation posture and there are many um, beneficial aspects of that posture. But if it's not possible for your body to sit that way, sitting in a chair is very good. In fact, when Geshe Zopa was here last, he said that sitting in a chair, the next Buddha coming, the Treya Buddha, is often depicted in the aspect he will come here, sitting on like a, a throne or a bench. And so Geshe Zopa jokingly said, we're getting ready for the Treya, we're practising for when the Treya Buddha comes. But the main purpose of finding a comfortable position is so we're not distracted by our body. Our meditation is a, a mental activity and we want our mind to be calm and alert and focused. So if we're just thinking about our sore knee or our aching back, that's not really helpful. So sitting, in, if you're in a chair so that your lower back supported, this is helpful. If you're on a cushion so you, your hips are higher than your knees, having your back relatively straight in its natural curvature but not leaning one side or the other. Having your, your arms a little bit away from your body so the air circulates and the heat doesn't build up. Sometimes the inner heat builds up with our meditation. Letting your head tilt forward a little bit just helps relax the muscles around your shoulders, your upper back, your neck. And the, the extent to which you tilt your head, that depends on, that can affect your alertness. If you're feeling um, a bit tired or sleepy in your meditation, lifting your head a little bit higher helps. If you're feeling your mind's too busy, sometimes lowering your head a little bit helps. So just finding that good balance for you. Having your teeth a little bit apart helps relax those muscles around the jaw. Sometimes people carry a lot of tension in their jaw muscles. Letting your tongue rest up against the back of your upper teeth and your upper palate. Ideally, if we can keep our eyes a little bit open, that allows for um, some light to come in and helps reduce our sleepiness. But if that's too distracting, then just letting your eyes gently close. And so then just checking through your body to see, is that comfortable? If you find some area of tension, just gently change your position at any time during meditation. Don't sit with discomfort. Your mind will just continually be drawn to that. So having got our body into a comfortable position and so this, this meditation, for those of you who knew, this meditation will be for 20 minutes or so, a bit less and then we'll have a little break and then we'll do a longer meditation. So then bring your attention to your breath. 
just watching it, not trying to change anything. That's what can be difficult sometimes. We try to organise our breath. We've been breathing since we were born, so we don't need to worry about that it'll stop or whatever. So just watching your breath, whatever rate is comfortable for you. So initially being aware of the breath at the opening of the nostrils. Just being aware of those subtle sensations as the breath comes and goes. The air's a little bit cooler as you breathe in, a little bit warmer as you breathe out. There's a subtle movement of the hairs in your nose as you breathe in and out. And so using the focus of the opening of the nostrils is a useful way also to help reduce sleepiness because it brings your attention up higher in your body. We can also focus on our breath by putting our attention to the movement of the shoulders and the chest with each breath that we take. As we breathe in, the muscles expand our ribs and then when we breathe out, they relax back. We can also be aware of the breath, watching the movement, the more subtle movement of our abdomen with each breath we take. And focusing on the breath in this, these lower parts of our body, this can help reduce our distraction. If our mind's distracted a lot, bringing our attention to that gentle movement, that gentle rhythm, that can just help us settle the mind. So in general, the breathing meditation is to help us develop our concentration because anything other than focusing on the breath is actually a distraction from the meditation we're doing, the meditation on the breath. So distractions are quite normal. So just let whatever it might be go out with your next breath. And so then as you exhale, imagine all your negative energy, past mistakes, wrong conceptions, disturbing emotions, all of these things that limit us, leave your body with the breath. Just letting go of all of them. You can visualise that the energy of all those things that are not helping you as black smoke or black light. And just let that go out into space and it can't exist out there. These things are part of our inner world. So when we let them out, they just completely disappear. 
they no longer exist. These are elements of mental energy that are holding you back from achieving what it is you want to achieve. So just let them go. We don't have to hold on to them. Develop some confidence that you are actually freeing yourself from all these limitations, things that are not benefiting you, not benefiting others. Just let them flow out of you. As you inhale, imagine that all the positive energy of the universe enters into your body with the breath in the form of a pure radiant white light. Visualise this light flowing to every part of your body, filling every cell and atom, making your body feel light and blissful, completely relaxed. When you become distracted by external noises, internal feelings or images, just observe them for what they are and then without reacting, just let them transform into smoke and breathe them out, out into the area where they can no longer exist. For now, you don't need these. Just let them go. As you breathe in the positive energy, as it flows through your body, imagine that it's just relaxing, cleaning, bringing calm relaxation into your body. If you find areas of tension, just gently relax them with the white light. Breathe that tension out with the next breath.
So now with this calm, clear mind, visualise in the space above your head a sphere of white light. A little smaller than the size of your head. Pure, transparent, formless sphere of white light. Don't worry if it doesn't appear very sharply. Just have a sense that it's there above your head. Contemplate that the sphere of light represents all the universal goodness, love and wisdom. Bring to mind all the positive qualities that you admire in others. Kindness, compassion, patience, humility, all these qualities that you, you wish for from others and that you wish to develop yourself. These represent the fulfilment of your own highest potential. Remember the times you benefited from other people's wisdom, knowledge, capacity to, to deal with things, all those things that are our own example of how to put these qualities into practice in our actions. Then visualise that this sphere of light gradually decreases in size until it's about two centimetres in diameter. It then gently descends through the top of your head and comes to your heart centre. And from there, this light gradually expands, slowly spreading to fill your entire body, gently moving through all parts of your body. A 
nice light expands in your body. All the solid parts of your body dissolve and become light. Your organs, bones, blood vessels, muscles, tissues, skin, all become a pure, formless, white light. As you concentrate on this experience of your body as a body of light, think that all problems, hindrances, limitations completely vanish into the light. Remember all the qualities that this light represents. Love, wisdom, compassion, generosity. All these qualities that we wish to develop in ourselves. And so the opposite of those completely vanish and we reach a state of wholeness and perfection. Let a sense of serenity and joy completely pervade your body and mind. If any thought or distracting object appears in your mind, just let it dissolve into that white light. That calm, blissful, peaceful light. we can dedicate our energy and effort that we put into this practice to all those who would like to experience this calm, peaceful state, a relaxed body, a joyful, serene mind. And we can wish that they too come to experience this.
and then when you're ready just slowly open your eyes